best shot. <laughs> we are having fun here and the first viewers join so live from NYC the cutting room this is Gail Barnes and I have the one and only Jonah Manson with me Jonah originally hails from this part of the world so uh, that's correct I'm gonna leave him now to tell you about himself he's an amazing artist and also about Brothers Keeper and his new project Jonah Thanks, Gail. Well, yeah, it's great to be here with you, and it's great to be here at the Cutting Room in New York City, which is the city of my birth. I was born just a few blocks north of here, right on the island of Manhattan, and spent the first 30-something years of my life living here. So every time I come back to play in New York, it really is, doesn't feel like coming home. It is coming home for me, and, uh, and it's great to be here this time with Brothers Keeper, who are an incredible band who invited me to participate in their project now it's been uh, two years the, the band has been existed for three years and I've been on board for the last two and the band is based uh, Brothers Keeper are based in Colorado in Vail and Aspen that that part of the, the, the mountain towns of Colorado and I for the last 23 years have been living in Santa Fe New Mexico which for that part of the world, geographically speaking, is kind of just down the street. You know, distances out west get kind of get get larger than they are around here in the East Coast. So, so they invited me a couple of years ago to join them for a series of concerts in Colorado, and we hit it off really, really well. And then decided to continue to collaborate. We wrote. Uh, they came down to my studio in Santa Fe, where we wrote um, the songs that wound up appearing on the album, which we put out this last year. Um, and we're continuing to work together and I'm really feeling blessed to be a part of this project. So it's been a, it's a fun adventure and the, and the road, we've got a lot of road ahead of us too. So it's feeling good. And you've been touring now with Moon Alice and uh, Doobie yes. Decibel System. So tell us about that. Well, this is, you know, this particular tour is really special because, um, you know, there's so many great musicians involved in each of the bands and there's such a spirit of uh, camaraderie and collaboration and as a matter of fact last night for the first time we actually on the on this run we started jamming with one another and sitting in together and uh, it's also a great bunch of uh, extremely talented musicians and also just great people um, so it, it you know it's like being on the road with a, 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 a whole band of brothers you know and um, and obviously, you know, also Jason Crosby, who's a member of uh, Doobie Decibel System, uh, and uh, and and also plays with Moon Alice, is an old friend of mine, and uh, I have collaborated with him on and off for many years prior to this experience. So, and Jason is also playing with us. So that's another element, sort of like a a common link that that goes back even before my involvement in Brothers Keeper or, 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 or this tour. So yeah, it's really a great situation and Roger and the rest of the guys and Moon Alice are so welcoming and so inviting um, and it's such a great organization and also the way these things like this interview and the, the podcast and the, all the web streaming that, that comes along with their organization is so well organized and so well orchestrated that it's such a great use of the technology we've got available to us so being a part of that is a great thrill too it's an all in all just it's a win-win-win situation for all of us i think you know to be involved and we're also bringing our various uh, audiences uh, depending on which market we are where we're playing some of us have, you know one group will have more fans than the other or we're turning our turning each of our fan bases on to the other band so it's a great it's a great opportunity to help grow our respective fan bases through this collaboration so it's really really uh, a unique and wonderful experience and it's the kind of thing also that doesn't happen as often I think in the music world as, as it possibly could you know there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of groups you know unfortunately because the music business in, in a lot of ways has become tighter and in some ways more difficult than it was in years or decades past some bands have a tendency to start to feel more territorial about their um, their work or their fan base, but you know, I think this philosophy of, of working together, playing together, touring together, and sharing is is the, really the way that uh, the way of the way of the present and the way of the future. It's the way we're all going to survive and thrive is by collaborating, and cooperating, and helping one another on this level. So it's it's awesome. Wonderful. Well, 
Moon Alice is of course the way that uh, I first met of you course, and yeah. uh, you know it's the same on social media collaboration um, is really just good for everyone so you have a project a personal project yeah. is that correct coming yeah. up I just um, fin I just completed my first ever crowdfunding campaign a Kickstarter campaign for my next record um, and uh, you know it was that was also an amazing experience too to use that platform you know now that record companies are have become more and more the thing of the past this is how artists more I think more and more will fund their project by by with support direct support from their fan base and I had an amazing outpouring of support I had a 30-day uh, Kickstarter campaign, crowdfunding campaign that was fully funded in less than two weeks, you know, so it was really, uh, you know, when you launch something like that, at least for myself, I was a little apprehensive about how it would be received, what if nobody gives me anything, I felt, you know, but the, the response was amazing, and so yeah, um, as soon as I'm done with this tour, I'm going to start the recording of my next record, and I'm planning to do it in stages using... Um, uh, various of my collaborations, uh, bring, sort of tying them all together into this new project of my own. And the guys from Brothers Keeper will be playing on the record, uh, as well as some of my musical friends from New York will be playing on the record, and a bunch of other uh, of my collaborators, both on the songwriting side and instrumental side, will be involved. And I'm, like I said, I'm going to start at the beginning of June and hope to have the record in people's hands by sometime early this fall. So, yeah, it's an exciting time. It's going to be a busy summer of touring and recording. And I own my own recording studio in Santa Fe, where I live. So that end of the equation I've got covered. And the money I raise for my Kickstarter campaign is to pay all the great musicians who I love uh, uh, a small but respectable session fee. Actually, gigantic, exorbitant session fees, and uh, and also to have money for the back end, the manufacturing and promotion of the album, which, like it or not, is probably the most important uh, aspect of it, of the of the financial picture when you're making a record. You know, so so I feel really great to be to be in a position to be fully prepared to do that uh, without having to steal from my five-year-old daughter's college fund, and uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it's, I'm really psyched about. The, this next phase moving forward. We've got Brothers Keeper's got a lot of exciting touring coming up. We're doing, uh, after this East Coast run, we're doing a, a bunch of West Coast gigs, Northern California, we're playing in Sonoma, at a beautiful benefit uh, concert that we're doing. And then in early July, we're going to Europe. We've got a week, uh, a week, two weeks of gigs in Italy, which will be fun uh, on so many levels because the, the, the audience there is so great and appreciative and, and the food and wine aren't bad either. So. Wonderful. Now, Jonah, there's, I have to tell you, um, there is an outpouring of hearts on my screen. They are multicolored and they are just, they're like a fountain on the right hand side. Of That's the great. <laughs> and there's a question from Jason who asks, um, the one thing that you think is missing from crowdfunding or making money as an artist, what would you say that was? The one thing that is missing from, I'm not sure I understand the question. Jason, maybe if you want to rephrase the question um, about the, the thing that's missing from the crowdfunding. It, it sounds as if the crowdfunding was a wonderful exercise because there was an outpouring of love sure, for you from absolutely. the fans. Yeah. So uh, Jason, uh, maybe, you know what? Let's do some cross-pollination here. Technology or new services make it work better for you. Um, do technology or new services make it better for you, You know, Jonah? I don't think it's a question of better or worse. Technology and the state of the arts, and, uh, state of the art of technology as it exists is a fact of today's, of today's uh, world and today's existence as an artist, uh, especially a musician. Uh, so it's an undeniable fact the way the way digital technology has transformed our industry so learning to use that to coexist and to subsist at, in today's world is simply a fact whether it's good or bad I think is 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 uh, less important than, than accepting the fact that it is um, you can't push back against it uh, otherwise that that's when I think problems uh, arise so sure I mean I definitely you know I grew up in the you know, I'm 54 years old, I've been making music all my life, 
and I grew up at the, in the heyday of the analog uh, music world of people being able to make money selling their albums, and things have changed. Um, so it's not so much a question of whether I think it's detrimental or beneficial, it's quite the fact of the matter that it is. And it's, and it's learning to, to use that in the most efficient and creative way, you know, to not necessarily fall back on it as just the, the only way to do things, but to incorporate the digital technology and uh, the social media into what we're doing is just a, simply a fact of life. Wonderful. Well, J um, oh my goodness. <laughs> Jono, I know you've got a uh, sound check yeah, coming up. Yeah, it's there. I hear the noise happening in the next room. Yeah, program. and folks who are online here, Jono has very kindly said that uh, we can take Periscope into the sound check. Absolutely. So we're going to log off here, but uh, watch for um, Brothers Keeper coming up uh, that uh, sound check in just a minute. So if you're in New York City, get your you know what down to the cutting room. And get, while you're getting your you know what down here, bring the rest of yourself along with it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and bring your friends. Lovely to speak to you folks. All the best. See you soon. See you soon. Bye-bye.